Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. Just in the parking lot here at the trailhead to get to an abandoned bunker. So let's do this. After a bit of searching, I think I found our trailhead here that's going to go to an abandoned Cold War nuclear bunker. And uh, it got half built. There's an uh, interesting history to it. I think they didn't realize how different limestone blasting would be compared with granite, so there's some water issues. But let's go check it out. The bears should all be hunkered down right now, um, but I do have bear spray just in case of a cougar or a bear that didn't get the memo. And uh, we're actually on the Trans Canada Trail right now. Obviously, this is a pretty easy trail, which is good. Because uh, my shoes, they're kind of hiking shoes, but they're not rated for ice. It's a very well-traveled trail, and it's a popular tourist attraction for families. So, we're close to sunset. Most of them should be getting home to have dinner and allow me to hunker in the bunker. Oh, and of course it's up another hill. Well, we made her. Uh, I'm gonna fire up some flashlights and let's go take a look at uh, where home is gonna be for the night. This doesn't look freaky at all. It's definitely uh, nice and warm in here. It's not too bad at all. Pitch black and dead quiet though. Definitely very big in here. Cavernous would be the word. And at four kilometers of hiking, this got me thirsty. Okay. Since shelter is already set up, that means I just have to crack a beer, and the second step of this whole ordeal will be completed. I have explored the bunker to every corner. It splits in a little Y, and one of the hallways kind of ends. Then the other one goes on for a good 100 plus feet, and there are little rooms along the side of it. Those were presumably to build vaults for storing things like files, documents, or dossiers during the Cold War. And thankfully, this was never needed. It never came to completion. I think once they realized how leaky it was, um, it wasn't a good idea. Uh, so this is as far as Alberta got with Norad Jr. here. But I'll set up in one of those rooms tonight, cook a good meal, and there's of course no cell service in a Cold War nuclear bunker. So I'm coming to the entrance here to let everybody know I'm okay and drop a pin for beautiful wife so she knows where to find me if I don't show up tomorrow. This is kind of the general tour and it should give you a sense of the layout of this place. Down there, is the entrance and the sun's just setting now. This is where we come to the Y. There's down there with the rooms on the left and this one continues straight on. Let's go check this dead end one. This is the end of the ride. I can see where they've scribed as they were continued to drill in here for more blasting, but uh, they pretty much called it quits when they got to here. 
I'll go check out that one. This is one of those little rooms I was talking about, and it's probably 20 by 20 uh, feet, and it's a little pipe hanging down. And the next stop here is a couple more of these rooms. Pushing along further. It's probably where I'm going to camp tonight in this room here. Over there, looks like it's like Seth's room. Pushing on further, you can really see the uh, the moisture in here. There's a lot of water, and uh, right down here, this is where this one is. Okay, that's unsettling. Uh, yeah. So that's that's all there really is to it. I'm uh, I'm glad it was abandoned and we get to actually explore it, and camp in it. So aside from the graffiti and uh, the sheer nice space of it, uh, that's all there really is to it. Tonight's sleeping system is this backpacking cot. I'll get this set up before I have another step two or two. And uh, I will explain uh, a little something. I planned to do my normal stealth video this week in the city of Edmonton where I live. And it was just gonna be behind a bus station. And it just felt like I'm filming the same video over and over again. Like it's losing, it's losing the innovative aspect it's, it's like I'm just picking a different clump of trees in the same city every week when I do a stealth one. And I got into my list of places that I jotted down and I said, you know, let's get out of the city. Let's go do this bunker. Um, the stealth ones are fun, but I don't want it to just be a different clump of trees in the same city. Uh, we'll be hitting the road here, of course, because that's, that's been the goal since, uh, that whole botched BC trip. But. Okay. When I get this on a little more level ground, it'll be just perfect. And uh, on the stealth aspect, um, I don't anticipate anybody to come out here at night. In the morning, that's a very different story. Uh, it's a popular hiking trail and people bring their kids in and everything. And I'm sure I'm not supposed to be camping in here. <laughs> I am pleased to see that for the most part, people have been keeping the graffiti in here PG. That makes it easier for editing this thing. And uh, it's not that creepy really, but I'm not, I'm not scared by, you know, like paranormal or being alone in a cave. Uh, what would scare me most is big rock like this coming down, a collapse or something. Or, um, or a cougar walking in here and I don't really have an exit. But it is a cave, right? So there's normal cave sounds, you know? It may sound like dripping water or children playing, or chains getting drug off a staircase. That's all normal uh, when you're in a cave and you just don't let your imagination play tricks on you. That's the secret. How's it going? Not bad, how are you? Oh, good. This is the first time we've ever been over here. Yeah, me too. We chose to do it in, in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. I'm actually I'm going to be camping in here tonight. 
Oh, are you? That's cool, man. Do you yeah. see you camping in here? Yeah, I'm camping in here. I'm, it's, uh, I got a YouTube channel. I'm just uh, camping video. Really? Oh, that's sick, man. That's yeah, crazy. Right on. Yeah, it's, uh, people have uh, definitely been here a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it'd be like a quiet night in the cave here, but a lot of people have shown up. And there's people doing some light painting. They got these sparks and everything. Let's go check out what they're doing. This is cool. Uh, hey, how about we let this dude do one? Yeah, yeah, you can do one if you want. Sure. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Steve. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so safety glasses. This is uh, steel wool. Yeah. Yeah. And he's doing it in front of us. Oh, I see. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go up to the, to the spot. Okay. Hmm. All right. Should be ready to. Uh... One minute. Oh, is he ready? Wait, wait. Um, yeah, okay, I'm ready. You going? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, that's uh... quite the rig. <laughs> nice. Whoa, that's a really cool spin pattern. That was really cool. I did not expect to meet so many people here in an abandoned bunker, but uh, it's locally known, so there's people up and down all the time. I have to be out of here early in the morning because of that, because there will be definitely folks running through on a Sunday morning uh, checking the place out. However, um, super cool to meet people doing the light painting and all that. Uh, it's an awesome background for spinning around, sparks flying, all that. Uh, they're hopefully sending me a picture of the one that I did um, and a couple of theirs, so that's super cool. Okay. The compression sack for this sleeping bag is lost somewhere, probably in Crazy Neighbors Suburban or in our seat can somewhere, but that's okay. It fit just fine in the bottom zip up compartment of this backpack and put this thing locked up. Uh, perfect. And it couldn't be the Rocky Mountains without a cement factory right here in the heart of the Rockies. So that's uh, kind of a nightlight for me when I come out here. And uh, almost the full moon. Okay, so this is in the ceiling here. I'm no explosives expert, but somebody please tell me this isn't an actual live charge that's just been left in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, well, I'm going to be cooking up some Italian sausage ravioli and then uh, dump some marinara sauce on there. And that sounds like a very good bunker meal to me.
these guys in here. Well, these seem to be cooked very well, uh, but I gotta drain this. And as my mom always said, don't drain your ravioli water directly on the floor of an abandoned Cold War nuclear bunker. So, I'm gonna move a little bit away and try to not lose too many of these raviolis. And uh, there's a spot over there somewhere that already has some natural dripping that seems to be going right through. And that's where we're gonna drain it. This looks like a, a meal fit for a guy living in a cave. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably should have brought some peppers on under or some pepper or something, but definitely this will be satiating for sure. And uh, of course, I have to give a big shout out to all the folks that have donated to the Bureau Nation Fund, which of course involves, you know, gas uh, and all, all this other expenses involved with this, but uh, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Mm. Mm. I wish you were all here with me enjoying uh, a step two. I could find where I set it down. No, no problem. Um, I have uh, I have another one somewhere, but yeah. So thank you all, and uh, you'll never see me uh, shilling some advertisement at the start of the video because of it. So it's uh, um, kind of I think the way to go. Oh, the handle got in there. Yeah, that's okay. Um. Yeah, absolutely delicious meal. There's probably gonna be people out here in the morning. Hopefully not before I'm out of here. I'm gonna set my alarm for eight in the morning and that should get me out of here because there's, there's no light, right? Like there's, <laughs> I could sleep in until probably three in the afternoon um, <laughs> if I didn't have an alarm clock. Devour the rest of this. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see uh, me do even weirder stuff, uh, if there is anything weirder to do. Mm -hmm. Extremely delicious, extremely delicious. Ate the whole thing, can't believe it. But before I go to bed, considering we're in a cave um, with no cell service in the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna clean everything up. I got my alarm set for 8 in the morning. The sun rises at 8.30. So I should have everything packed up and out of here before any wholesome family's out for a Sunday walk. Uh, find me sitting here sleeping, um, surrounded by empty food containers and empty beer containers. Uh, I will clean this off a little bit. There's a lot more marinara sauce, but that's that's got to be cleaned off and I have to do that outside of the bunker. I don't want to attract any more uh, attention for wildlife into here than I already have been doing. Of course I slipped a little bit and got uh, the sauce all over myself which is a double whammy because the jacket is my pillow for the night, but uh, uh, yeah. It could be worse. Could be much worse. 
have to say, so cozy, so quiet. Um, it's interesting. Um, I'd recommend it, of course, if you're not afraid of ghosts or anything like that. This is a great thing to do. And I've got my trusty bear spray um, sitting right beside me in case of uh, any predators that may come across me. So let's uh, get this set up and hit the head. Off with the shoes. Good night, everyone. This is one of the best ways to sleep. I'm caught in an abandoned bunker. It just doesn't get any better than this. I'll see you in the morning, everyone. Good morning. Alarm went off for 8 a.m. Uh, successful night in the cave. I was just starting to get some good sleep right when the alarm went off. But uh, could be worse, I guess. So I've got um, half an hour here to pack up. And then the sun should be up and I can hit the trail. The flashlights lasted just about long enough. I had, uh, I had a bunch on at night throughout here in case I had to make a break for it or needed to see what I was doing in the, in the night. Oh, I didn't want it to be too, too dark. But it's okay. Took a peek outside. The sun is not up yet, but it's late enough that I could start hiking. So I'm gonna wrap this all up and um, get out of here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird to wake up and say, oh yeah, I'm in an abandoned bunker. That's where I am. Got a little bit of a stuffy nose from in here. I think there's some mildew and obviously there's some water leakage, but uh, that's not bad. Could be worse, could be worse. I am gonna do one final sweep of the area to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. And I have to say, for a bush party abandoned bunker, there's not a lot of garbage out here. Um, hats off to everybody in the area who's been uh, kind of maintaining this, keeping it clean. This is fantastic. Um, and if anybody does want to venture out here, um, I encourage you to try and take any trash you see on the way out because this is a real treat to not have, you know, <laughs> use needles and stuff and whatever I've come across under bridges and all over the place. This has been an absolute uh, pleasure. Um, Albeit a dank one. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. Down there by that overpass is where the cars park. So it's um, actually a fair descent down. Um, it's not necessarily a good thing because it's kind of icy and I'm in uh, mediocre footwear. That's okay. We, uh, we'll take it slow and hopefully the car's still there. I'm ever glad it's mostly downhill on the way back because uh, I'm feeling it from hiking up the hill yesterday. For those that don't know, I got a bum hip. So, you know, carrying a backpack on a hike is probably one of the worst things I could do. But that bunker was just so tantalizing I couldn't resist it.
Awesome, the car didn't get towed. I was worried because the park said closed from 11 to 7. And I don't know how much they patrol that and get vehicles out of here. Sweet. Right on. Car is in fine shape and just as I left it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I uh, better go edit this up and poke around for a stealth spot or two because this looks like a stealth camper's paradise in this area and uh, may as well make the best of it and this little spell of good weather we have before it gets really crummy again. So uh, cheers everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you uh, this coming Thursday.